Okay, so I'm importing the Green Lantern Illustrator file that I created in the previous video. So you just have to make sure that you import it as composition, because if you import it as footage, then you will not have your layers. Okay, let's take a look at that. There he is. I'm just going to make a couple of changes to my composition. Composition settings. Let's set it up as a. Uh, let's go seven. Let's go 1080. Oh, it's kind of squishing him. Let me lock the aspect ratio. How are we going to do this? Oh. Yeah, let's stick with 720. Um, and let's change the background to white. Oh, not red, white. It actually says pale red. White, okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is just scale the whole thing down. So if I select everything, I should be able to just scale them down. There it is. Okay, so now I want to adjust the anchor point of each of each body part. Okay, so here's the head, and you see if I rotate the head, <laughs> that doesn't look good at all. So what I want to do is grab the the pan behind tool, it's right beside the camera, and I'm just going to drag the origin point, if I can zoom in a bit here, oh, to the neck. So now when I rotate it, that's a bit more realistic. Okay, so I want to do that for each of them. The body I can put in the center of the torso, right arm, there, left arm, Let's go to the left shoulder, right leg, about there, left leg should be about there. All right, so now, Let's, uh, for example, rotate the right arm. Okay. Could be a bit better. Let's move it to about there. Okay, so it could take some bit of, tri bit of trial and error to get the right spot. Okay. I should probably actually have my arms in front of my body. Probably make more sense. Okay. The next thing I want to do is set up the puppet tool on him. So all I have to do is select the body parts, in this case the right arm, click on the pin, and I'm going to insert a couple pins here. All right, so this allows me to manipulate the arm in some pretty cool ways. Okay, let's do that the same thing with the left arm. Okay, the body doesn't really need any pins. Ah, actually, I may as well. You never know, you can, uh, you know, shake his hips. And, um, legs. Uh, 
Okay, now the last thing I want to do for rigging him is making sure that these are all parented to the body. That means if the body moves, everything else is going to move. Okay, so I move the body. Oops. It's not the body. So if I move the body, everything's going to move. Okay, now that doesn't seem to be the case when I do the puppet warp, so you just got to be careful about that. <coughs> Alright, so now the fun part begins. I can start animating him. So the easiest way to do that is to turn on this um, stopwatch thing here. And then whatever I do with the uh, puppet warp, for, for instance, will be recorded. So let's just select the right arm, for instance. Grab the puppet tool. I just realized I didn't even give Green Lantern a ring. I don't know what I was thinking there. Okay, so he's going to raise his arm. Maybe shoot a power beam with the ring he's not wearing. It's okay, he's got so much willpower he doesn't need. He doesn't need a ring. Okay, I'll show you another way to animate the right arm here. Um, the left arm. Um, why don't I do a rotation? Okay, so you can see the arms raising like that. And I could combine that with a puppet warp. Okay, maybe. That looks kind of strange, but you get the idea. bit better. Okay, and why don't we uh, throw some body movement in there too? Just for fun. I don't know how to get the arms to to pin to the body when I when I play with this. If anyone knows how, that'd be be nice to know. Again, let's get the legs going too. Okay, and then maybe I want, I just want the whole body to, the whole guy to, oh, I, I believe if I rotate the body, everything else will follow. Let's see if that works. Yeah, because they're all parented. Okay, so then I'll rotate him. Oh, now, because I don't have a rotation keyframe at the beginning, okay, there we go. Okay, then why don't I...
Oops, I don't want it to fly away just just yet. There we go. Okay, so he's getting ready for action. And then flies away. Okay, so that's uh that's an example of very basic animation that uh you can do using the uh the puppet tool. Okay, and I'll show you one more cool thing before we go. I'm just gonna make these all three D layers just for fun. I'm going to add a camera. Now the camera can actually it can orbit around him now. Okay, I'm not sure why you'd want to do that, but um, we can actually zoom in and zoom out. Let's try to follow him as he flies. And then we'll let him go. Okay, so what I'm doing here, I'm just tracking the camera. So what's cool about that is if you have um, if you've got some kind of background on here or other characters, you could set up an entire scene and just have the camera moving to follow a certain character or zooming in, zooming out. Um, so you can do some pretty cool things by adding a camera. Um, you don't necessarily have to have a 3D layer, I don't think, but um, I think it's uh, it's kind of cool because you could have things at a slight angle. You could, you know, have things at uh, at different depths. Play with some lighting effects, that kind of thing. Why don't we just um, zoom right in there? See, I don't like how it comes back there. So I'm going to delete this one here. There we go. Okay, so with the camera we get a nice close-up. Then he's going to get ready to blast off. And he's gone. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. Hope that was useful. Until next time.